This is what happens when you discharge a capacitor. And this doesn't just happen in animations, it happens in real circuits like this one too. And the equation describing the way the capacitor discharges looks like this, which means the way voltage changes over time will look like this. And in this video, we're going to figure out where this equation comes from. So I've drawn that discharging capacitor circuit here on the glass board. Actually, here on the left-hand side, that's, this is the charging capacitor circuit, but I've opened the switch and closed the switch for the discharging part. And these are the equations for the components in the discharging circuit. I'll actually redraw this part of the circuit here and, and label the voltages and currents appropriately. Okay, I have redrawn the circuit with the proper polarities and the proper current directions. You'll notice that the voltage across the capacitor has positive at the top and negative at the bottom, and the voltage across the resistor has positive on the top and negative, positive on the bottom, negative on the top. And the current direction is in this direction, which is what gives us the polarity across the voltage. And this is just by convention that the current needs to be flowing into, conventional current needs to be flowing into the positive terminal of the capacitor. I mean, we'll see that actually current is flowing the other direction but that'll just give us a, a negative number in our equations. Okay, now starting from this equation, or starting from this circuit right here, and using Kirchhoff's voltage law, KVL, we know that if we start in this point, at this point, and we go around the circuit, we get plus VC plus VR gives us back to zero. So the voltage across the capacitor plus the voltage across the resistor has to equal zero by KVL. We can rewrite that. We also know that the voltage across the resistor is equal to the current through the resistor times the resistance. Since the current through the resistor and the current through the capacitor are the same, that's going to be the same as ICR. But remember what current through a capacitor is? It's capacitance times the rate of change of the voltage across the capacitor over time. So plugging this into this equation, we get that's the current times the resistance. Now, typically, we have the R and the C together like that. Now remember, we're trying to come up with an equation to the voltage across the capacitor over time. So what we can do is, is separate the terms in the expression so that the voltage across the capacitor related ones are on the left-hand side of the expression and everything else is on the right-hand side of the expression. So basically, that means I'm going to move DVC over to this side and I get VC over DVC. So that's a good start, but it's actually going to help me more if I flip these two around, invert both sides of this expression. Now the next step is to integrate both sides of this expression. The right-hand side of the expression will go from zero up to time t. The left-hand side of the expression, well, remember, and when this switch opens, the voltage across the capacitor, assuming that the voltage, assuming the capacitor is fully charged, is going to be at Vs. And then when this switch closes, it's going to start discharging towards zero. So it's going to be discharging towards something, and that, that's something we can, well, the starting point is Vs, and it's going to be discharging towards some arbitrary value we're going to, we're going to call Vc. The integral of 1 over Vc with respect to Vc is log of Vc. Actually, it's the absolute, should be the absolute value, but Vc is never going to be negative anyway. It's physically not going to be able, be able to go negative. And we are integrating from Vs to Vc. And this is going to be equal to negative t over Rc. And we're integrating from 0 up to t. So expanding this out, we get log of Vc minus log of Vs. And expanding this out, we simply get negative t over Rc. I can combine these two terms together into one log expression. Now I can take the inverse log of both sides of this expression. So e to the log of Vc over Vs will simply be Vc over Vs. And then I have e to the negative t over rc. Finally, I get vc is equal to vs e to the negative t over rc. And there's my expression for the voltage across the capacitor over time.
And you can see since I have Vc is equal to negative Vr, that's where I get this expression. And then current through the resistor will simply be that negative Vs over R. If you want to see a video of these equations in action, you can see that here. If you want to see a playlist of other capacitor videos, you can check that out here. As always, thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Remember to stay sharp and have fun.